Welcome back to Let's Get All That Civilization 4 Caveman to Cosmos. It's been over a week since I last played. When last we left off, the world was on low graphics. I turned it back to high. How about that? I figured, you know, what the hell. I had my fun with Bison Knight, and now I can train individuals who can do bison riding. So really, there's no more point, right? I do believe, well, you know, it's been so long. Let's take a review over the situation by looking at what we know. What do we know? We know that uh, I used to be the highest in score, but that kind of dipped down. That I'm ahead of everyone that I've met. We also know that no one can have revolt instability because uh, revolutions don't exist. GMP-wise, I'm at the top, as well as production and food. Power, I'm competitive. But culture and espionage, I'm definitely winning. Culture, not so much. Demographics-wise, I am winning in what matters. Uh, Soldiers-wise, eh, we'll be fine. Top cities in the world? Ah, uh, Trento, with all of these awesome things, is only third. We also apparently have a sign there by Cartena. Interesting. And we've invested some time in this game. We've raised some cities and killed some dudes. How about that? Civics-wise, I don't think we have anything particularly interesting that I want to switch to. I think I'm running the most powerful uh, right now in everything I got. Uh, Finances-wise... Okay, so I've had a week to, uh, to think about this, slowly percolating in my mind over the passage of time... And I've been going about this all wrong. Now, uh, my primary focus was trying to get the bronze working in the hopes that, you know, I could keep expanding more. But the problem um, that is currently a stopgap of my expansion isn't happiness, nor is it health. It's money. Uh, that is what's preventing me from making my empire bigger. Uh, the extra unhappiness that I get from settling cities, um, that's not an issue? <laughs> so that is a mistake on my part, I do think. Uh, one that I will be angling to correct because I am going to be expanding. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this, uh, well, in this session. Also, it seems that because I put the graphics back up, I actually have access to my signs again. Well, signs of a sort. Perhaps it generated new signposts for me. I don't remember the old ones. At any rate, I'm sure you were doing automated things, so I'm actually going to leave you to that. Another thing that I considered, too, I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to turn off the automated workers, leave old improvements, or forests. In base civilization, and uh, this exists in other games too, uh, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri comes to mind with, uh, with uh, the formers, or in this case workers, being able to replace improvements. In which case the automated workers sometimes can't make up their damn mind. They'll go, oh I want this farm in, over the town, and then they'll go, actually no, we should put a cottage there. And they'll be like, no, we need to put this there. Uh, a little bit of hyperbole, but they can get in that loop. Uh, I've, I take the approach that I know what I'm doing more than what the AI does. However, in Caveman to Cosmos, it's possible. Uh, the worker AI has been improved. So, I don't know. I might experiment that later. I've also been a little bit wary of, uh, chopping down forests. Uh, just because... Eh, you know, <laughs> what the hell, right? Uh, I There might be reason that I might really want to in the future, but for now I'll leave them alone. I'm also uh, in the process of returning, yes, my, my bear rider. I think he's my single surviving bear rider. Well, no. I have another here? Yes. I do have another. And we can go uh, kill some more barbarian cities while we're at it, because what the hell. But I'm going to be looking towards expanding. 
and uh, we'll just take a look and we'll see how it goes. Who's going to be building the expansion site? I don't think that should be Trento, on account of how much infrastructure I think it needs to make up. Instead, what I might have uh, happen here is Perugia uh, build the build the units. Oof, that's actually going to be hard for me to afford. Now I had some, uh, I had at least one commenter, and I apologize for not being able to remember everyone's name who mentioned that I should never really worry about uh, the whole flammability thing because. Uh, that particular person never really had their shit burned down, so I would be fine. Maybe they're right. Maybe I'm uh, being overly cautious. I don't know. So, perhaps I'll have another city uh, which finishes its infrastructure. Go ahead and focus on that. But for now, we'll just go ahead and cycle through some turns. We got the wheel done. Which will be nice. Put your shoulder to the wheel. Yes, put your shoulder to the wheel. Oh, that reminds me. Hydromancer X uh, requested through a private uh, message that whether I would assist in vocalizing some of these uh, tech blurbs for Caveman to Cosmos, some which didn't have any vocalization and others which were so softly spoken or inaudible. And I agreed. And uh, the, those blurbs that I've said will be put in, you know, later versions of the game. I think they're currently in the SVN. I haven't kept track of it. It's not something I, I admittedly cared about much one way or the other. So we can make a mud path. That's exciting. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at a worker here. Travel costs one half movement point. Sweet! And uh, that automatically replaced the normal pathing. Fantastic. Alright, Bear. We're going to continue to uh, work to get you back home. Home being a relative term. Maybe we can scare this guy off. I don't like him there. Ooh. I could actually try it. I could try it. Do I dare? No. No, I don't think I'd risk that for that particular situation. Nah, not worth it. Cute and all, but I just don't think I can. I believe the same individual uh, also told me that I missed out on getting a free archer. Um, apparently some of these techs will give you a free unit if you are the first person to get to them. And that's not something that'll be said whenever you mouse over them. Oh well. I'm going after metal casting next. Metal casting will weaken the, uh, the damn thing even more. Do I want to? Ah. Uh, I think... I think I like that better, actually. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, writing also uh, will, will take down the tech quite a bit with uh, all the things that it nukes out. So that's a thing, too. But you know, I like the look of that, and, you know, let's try restructuring this again. I like the idea of masonry, and then bronze working, and then writing. We don't even have to worry about oil lamps. Okay, let's try this again. Stargazing. Oil lamps, masonry, bronze working, writing. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hmm. 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 There are too many options. I'm, uh, I'm having this problem again where... You know, you look at a menu in a restaurant and you get into a freeze. You're like, hurt, hurt. I'd have some beaker deterioration. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. You know what, though? This will help us tech up. And teching up isn't exactly such a bad thing, although that would take forever to, uh, to get. 
Not forever. There's no need for that kind of exaggeration, Grimoth. No, there is not. Mm. Let's get some of this, some of this. And we'll see where the road takes us. No, seeing where the road takes us is dumb. <laughs> Stupid. No one wants to see where the road takes us. We'll go there tentatively. We're over ten minutes into this video, folks. Excitement. Dirt, dirt. But now that I've realized that I could easily soak up some happiness, you know, it's not a big deal or anything. I'd like to, uh, pin this Mongolian hunter and, uh, force him into moving into a bad place. Okay. So let's see if I can do that, huh? How about that? Just try to be an asshole. I mean, we got plenty of time in the game. I had enough time to dick around here for a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I move here and a move here, move to the forest, move to that forest, we'll see. You might just stay there. I'd like to pick off individual units. It'd make me feel better about my life. Okay. I suppose that's actually the uh, the best spot uh, that could have been relocated there. Early merchants uh, can help with a... Oh, yes. Yes, that reminds me. Uh, there was also a suggestion. It was a long time ago now, so I was having difficulty remembering. Of getting a trained cat uh, that would help me do uh, some scouting. On account of the fact that, uh, well, uh, it's invisible to most units. So I could probably give it an old whirl and see where the road takes me. Okay. Well, the unit's still alive. <laughs> so that's a thing. <laughs> oh, I needed a moment there. Mm. I think that actually cost me some money. Well... No, I think upgrading the cat is probably what cost me the money. Yes, use your intellect, Grimoth. Well, um, that, that was definitely exciting. And I don't think anyone can say otherwise. Now, little kitty cat here only has one movement, which is unfortunate. So we'll go ahead and move ye old kitty cat over here. It'll take 20 turns. We'll see what happens. All right, all right. I'm not doing that bad, all things considered. And I could try to take a poke at someone else and conquer them, but uh, I'm thinking no, at least for now. That was uh, that that was an experience to be sure. And he's uh, slowly recovering his health. You know, he was out looking for vengeance and everything. At least I had another unit in the vicinity that could uh, pounce on that injured hunter. At least I did, at least I did. I think for the time being I'll actually put that, this bear, over those units of two so that I don't have to worry about them folding so, so quickly. 
and just accumulate some money and continue to build infrastructure. Get some ancestor worship in here. I saw the oracle down there. For a free tech. Elder Council Git gets me up to 382 beakers. I was leaving some of this technology behind. You know, uh... Not exactly the best decision I've ever made, but it was a decision. These buildings, they give me extra beakers. Also, hello. How's it going? How you doing? Come here often? I wasn't used to their look. <laughs> With uh, the extra graphics. No. No, that's fine. They can stay there. You did a good job there, sentry units. Actually, as a matter of fact, just uh, stand still. Let's see if they move into my territory over the bison. They did. They did. Well, certainly it should be within your means to kill the bastard. Good job. Now you can go back on sentry. Dumb barbarians. Yay, dumb barbarians. Continuing to protect my sea resources. That's nice. I approve of this. 384 beakers. It's nice that I got my uh, research back up. After uh, what I did to hamstring it there. Good good news. Hmm. Mongolians now have the most lethal archers in the world. Oh boy. I, I'm pretty sure they've had multiple... Uh, random events for the military aspect. I think they had, like, some sort of gladiatorial situation. Alright, they got a healer here. Bee bombs, boat yard. Plus one free specialist per fishing boat. Creation myth. Let's grab the creation myth. You go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. Which is to do some disease control on this place. Now we have uh, an Obsidian Axeman approaching. So that's definitely a thing. In order for him to get to my uh, territory, he would have to uh, take out. You know, he would have to attack me at the very least. Now when there's two there, that's a little bit disconcerting. <laughs> uh, Fishmonger. Emu. Llama Trainer, Mud Bath, Playing Fields, Poison Crafter's Hut, Pomegranate Orchard, Sand Pit, I could use the extra money, yeah sure, Tattoo Hut, Free Tattoo Promotion, hmm, interesting. Apparently that thing obsoletes itself with modern healthcare. How about that? Doo doo doo. We'll see uh, what these Neanderthals like to do here. They might uh, pile up in the same tower. They might not even be interested at all in trying to approach. Maybe they're trying to route themselves to these other cities down here. Uh, certainly a possibility. Getting closer to grabbing ancestor worship. I'm definitely dependent on uh, one of my cities to build uh, lesser wealth, though. Storyteller... Let's go ahead and examine the city here and take a look at the buildings that I've got for this place. Dried fruit maker, tablet maker, tattoo hut, sweat lodge? Sure. Gave me some extra culture. Why not? Llama trainer... Yeah, I like that. Wheelwright. Nice. Don't need Poison Crafter's Hut. Although it would give me a little extra money and I could afford the unhealth. Nah. Let's do that. And if you finish with all that, you can come back to me. Alright? Alright. Now let's keep an eye on these barbs. See what the hell they're gonna do here. My outrigger was attacked by an enemy archer. I see. Okay. Well, that was certainly an event which occurred. Also, uh, my great general needed several hundred years to uh, piece himself up. Well, not several hundred anymore. But he needed some time to piece his body back together. 
Definitely. Alright. Do, 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 do. How's it going out there in Internet Land? How you all doing? We have some relaxing, wonderful gameplay to look forward to here. Do I have anything that I... Yes. <laughs> I was just going to press through the hotkeys and I found something for him. Fantastic. You can work on that then. Great job. Trento is about to produce a great person here. Obsidian Mace Man killed a gray kangaroo by the looks of things. Alright. Up there. Okay. Kangaroo was a fool to attack me. Al Rigger is uh, getting poked at by an archer. I have it set to auto hunt and it's just exposing itself to damage. I am the largest civilization in the world. As it should be. We got ancestor worship. Alright. I'm cool with that. Alright, ancestor worship. goes to you swift and straight as an arrow shot into the sun. Welcome him, and let him take his place at the council fire of my people. Yezunkas, my son, tell him to be patient and ask death for speed, for they are all there but one, I, Chingitska, last of the Mohicans. Yes, because that wasn't difficult to hear or anything. Oh, well. Uh, so I could build the Cahokia Mounds. I... Nah. Nah. I think we'll be alright. Not exactly in a rush for that. Now, what was the, uh, the potential wonder that... Well, let me rephrase that. It was divination. Okay. I would like me some divination. Divination sounds exciting. What are you after over there, Uzbex? Copper working? There is, uh, masonry. Oh, man. It's so difficult to, uh, really analyze uh, what's being researched here. Because there's just so much crap that pops up. With all the things you can construct. Oh, well. Al Riggers continuing to be poked at. Well, fuck it. I would like to get another one out, but uh, let's instead focus on some monetary creations and non monetary creations. Basically, things. Let's get things. Smoke signals give research. I might have to get those. New melee units receive plus one experience. Point. Ooh. There's so many interesting things to grab. We'll just grab those things for now. I should be able to afford it. We'll get lesser wealth. I'm torn between getting every building and because I have over 14,000 turns in the game, you know. Well, I'm torn between not getting every building and then getting every building because there's so many turns in the game. That was a better way to rephrase that sentiment. We have the kitty cat approaching here. I don't know what all units will be able to see it. Maybe like other espionage units? I don't know. I don't think any espionage units could actually get into my territory. Even if they wanted to, because they'd have to go through the units I have there with the wall. Don't quote me on that. Good job, Outrigger. You're doing great work. Well done. Yeah. Auto hunt, uh, seems a little silly here. What are you doing? Stop getting shot at. Stop it. God damn it. He's like, but you told me to auto hunt. This is the only direction I can auto hunt, Grimith. <sighs> Go up there. Quit being a pain in my ass. Thank you. 381 beakers. 
We'll have that great person for sure, uh... Near the beginning of the next video, an enemy archer has missed its target. Cool. I can handle that. Uh, go back to sentry, so that you can pay attention to any animals that'll pop up. We got path, and that's going along, as uh, workers continue to uh, make uh, roads and passageways, which will ease the, the transit time. Invisible the most units. Hooray. Just wanted to check. <laughs> I might have misremembered. It's been known to happen from time to time. <sighs> and I want to take care of the individual moves, just in case. The borders of Trapani have expanded, have they? Alright. Good job. We're getting close to bridging the... Uh, these culture levels together. Local strongmen are extorting subjects of the Mongolian Empire. And I'm getting close to fixing my GPT. Through concentrated uh, city growth and uh, things. <laughs> we might actually get the great person in this video. How about that? We have uh, Gray Kangaroo there. Now, I'm invisible to most units, watch. All the other animals will be able to see me. That'd just be rude. I'm trying to get some scouting information here. I get some knowledge. What cues haven't I built from you? There, here, 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 here? Here, here. Here? Go with that. And I believe all of these cities have been uh, whipped once, as uh, is necessary. Also, I think it was a penguin? I'd say penguin. It might have said penguin. I can't tell right now, because there's currently a man running on my screen. Rock hopper penguin. How about that? Okay, you're finished. Uh... We got two outriggers protecting that. The outrigger and canoe protecting that. Another outrigger and canoe protecting that. So I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Uh, hmm. How about go over here and get back to me after you do, please. Of course, I'm constructing things that are consuming gold as well. We'll have to make do. I love how my workers are just out there roading, you know, in the wilderness. Without a thought or care in the world. <laughs> I probably don't need eyes on Fyrgian. Probably don't, but let's go ahead and take a look. And uh, if they can actually see that cat and kill it, well, I will I will have learned something valuable. Great person time! Hooray! Hooray! Let's see who we rolled. Oh, if, if only I had played several days ago. Huh. I, uh... <laughs> I, um... For those of you who are watching in future time, we're, we're currently on Martin Luther King Jr. week. Uh, of course, he has a special uh, federal holiday uh, that happens on Monday to celebrate his birthday. So, uh, it was just an amusing coincidence that he popped up. So, what can great prophets do? Abandoned slavery, we could do that. We can discover technology, dis choose dis desire and discovery tech. Allow selection of A of the de dis desire discovery attack. The unit will sleep until that tech becomes available to research and then will be consumed in researching it. Okay. A little bit of like a convenient thing. There's a go to city. I could 
have him join his Great Prophet, which provides the same benefits that a normal Great Prophet does. Huh. Well, let's check the Civilopedia here. I think the... I'm pretty sure the only other things he's going to be able to do is, uh... Build, um... Those, uh... Those shrines. Great Prophet. Great Prophets can create religious shrines only in a city where a religion is founded. Using a Great Prophet is the only way to build a religious shrine. They might not have changed the text of this. They might not have really changed the purpose of the things either. Okay, so... I have an incentive to... to found a religion, I guess. Ah, how about that? Well, Martin Luther King... Junior, you can take a nap there in Trento. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Andeanism? I... 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 I'm actually not familiar with that religion. What do you do? Or what are you? A prominent theme in Inca mythology is duality of the cosmos. I know reading this would be like reading Wikipedia, but it gives me something to go on here. Okay. So that would give me some extra beakers if it was my state religion by the looks of things. Female unit can't be built but randomly replaces male units, I see. And we would have some unique buildings like Machu Picchu. And El Dorado, which would assist with money. And some other stuff. Alright, yeah, sure. What the hell? Martin Luther King, I, I view this as a sign. <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the ass to get to it. But, you know... What the hell, right? We gotta have some fun here. No, damn it. <sighs> Grimith. Quit being stupid. Click on the things you want to click on. There, that'll do. What does a sundial do? Things. Too many things. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game. And coming up next time, we try to get a religion. See you then.